And welcome back. I showed you this right uh, earlier during, uh, well, earlier, that is, outside right now. We're sitting right around 60 degrees, 58 here in Hattiesburg, 57 down in Wiggins. How's that compared to yesterday at this hour? Yeah, quite a bit warmer, 10 to 15 or some places over 15 degrees above what we were yesterday. And that is a nice change because last night was just freezing cold outside. And our radar satellite, yeah, we're picking up a few scattered showers. Notice some of these heavier clouds are going to be moving into our area so we are going to become overcast throughout the night might get a little break in it to sometime during the afternoon tomorrow but it's going to be pretty difficult i want you to kind of pay attention though because you can see all the moisture moving in and this is pacific moisture as moving across we do have a slight chance of some scattered showers tomorrow and especially as we get on to your saturday as we have an upper level disturbance going to be moving in and again that's when we're talking about the potential for severe weather and also it's looking like maybe sunday in some parts of our viewing area i'll show you that in just a second Notice where the moisture is though. You can see how some of us, these are our dew points, and let me remind you that dew points show how much water vapor is in the atmosphere. And you can see that some of us are in the 40s, 50s down near the Gulf Coast, and Jackson's the one in the 30s right now. So a little bit more moist as you go on down to the south. Not uncommon, especially as we start to cool on down, that does have a play in it as well. Lows for tonight, it will be right around 50 degrees. The winds will be at the south, southeast, 5, 10 miles per hour, mostly cloudy skies. And then for tomorrow, our highs will be in the 70s. So we'll get above average for tomorrow. Some of us may hit 75 degrees, especially down to the south and to the east. The winds, though, picking up a little bit. They'll be out of the south or so, 10 to 15 miles per hour. So a little gusty. All right, show you future radar. You can see the clouds moving in as we go going throughout the overnight hours. Some scattered showers on out to the west. These will try and make a run for us. We're not talking large accumulations. Again, so we could have a few rumbles of thunder, but that's really about it. Not talking severe weather, not talking large accumulations. Again, more of a nuisance. And this is kind of the precursor to what we're experiencing this weekend. So there's our low that'll be moving on off near Minnesota. A trailing cold front. Cold front's really going to be on off to our west and to our north. The boundary will kind of extend down to us, but it'll be what we call kind of a sagging cold front. It'll eventually get here. So we do expect some severe thunderstorms, especially and better chance as you go on up to the north and to the west of Hattiesburg. And so here's our current thinking. You see it's kind of shifted to the north a little bit, still talking maybe some damaging winds. Flash flooding, unfortunately, and tornadoes cannot be ruled out at the moment. Large hail is still on the table, but it's not as likely at the moment, given the profile of the atmosphere. And then I mentioned Sunday. So right now, again, we haven't got into the time frame where we're talking slight, moderate risks right now. So we just have a risk down basically to the south and to the east of Hattiesburg. You can see it goes through Butler, Hattiesburg, and down to our southwest, again, to the east. And right now, it's looking less likely for us because you can see we're kind of on the fringe, but we'll kind of update that as we go on throughout, well, the next 24 hours or so. So your weather brought to you by Richard Schwartz and Associates for your Friday. Again, we'll be 73 degrees, 77 for your weekend. Again, cloudy with some afternoon and evening thunderstorms. Again, some of those could be severe on your Saturday. A little morning rain on Sunday. That's our best chance of any severe storms. And as we start next week, we'll start in the 60s, but we quickly warm up into the mid to upper 70s. And finally, that last day on that Thursday, hopefully we'll get into the 80s. That'd be pretty nice, although it's cloudy throughout still. Much better than having our overnight lows below freezing. Wow, 81. 81. That's we haven't seen pretty, that in a while. Pretty awesome. Thank you. Mm -hmm.